Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here in Amsterdam in the EasyJet A320 by Any Builds. We're going to take a look at the update to DLSS Swapper. If you look at the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see Render Preset E DLSS version 3.7.20. This was the version of DLSS that was delivered with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. You can see over on the right-hand side, obviously, Dev Mode, the FPS counter. You can see my GPU memory 7.243 gigs out of 11, getting about 50 FPS. Main thread getting, you know, not doing too bad around 18, 19, 20. And we'll get into the cockpit. Now we're looking at about 8.3 gigs of RAM, or VRAM rather. So 8.5, 8.6 gigs of RAM. Again, mid 40s on FPS. So now let's update the DLSS file and see what we get on a direct one-to-one -one comparison here. Here we are back in Amsterdam. You can see DLSS version 3.10.3, render preset K in the lower left-hand corner. And look at the GPU memory at the bottom of the FPS counter on the right, 6.849. With the previous version of DLSS, you were getting 7.2. So that's a almost a good half gig right there but it gets even more dramatic once we get into the cockpit have a look at this but when we were in the cockpit before with the with the previous dlss version we were getting 8.5 to 8.8 .8 gigs of vram look at what it is right now seven that's a gig and a half that's almost two gigs less vram use in the exact same scenario so what is DLSS Swapper and why do we use it? We use DLSS Swapper to change the DLSS version in either Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or 2024. If I take a quick look at 2020, you can see it's version 2.4.12. That's the version that shipped with MSFS 2020 five years ago, and it's still the version they will downgrade you to every update. But what is DLSS? DLSS is a package of programs essentially that gives you the latest AI and machine learning that NVIDIA does to optimize the performance and graphics. DLSS gives you the best performance and graphics that you can get from your NVIDIA RTX card. The problem is, is that it's normally developers that have access to which DLSS version and which preset are used for each game. Now the preset is a subset of DLSS files that's a predefined package of settings that optimizes the DLSS version that you're using. So you wanna use the latest version of DLSS. You also wanna use the latest version of the preset, which is preset K. In this new version of DLSS Swapper, if you want to, you can set a global DLSS preset here in the settings page. Click here and you can select either A through J, none of which you want, or you can have K or you can set use latest. I don't touch that at all because I set it on a per game level. And if you set it on the game level, in other words, for Flight Sim 2020 or Flight Sim 24, it's going to override whatever you have in the global setting. So here in Flight Sim 2020, I've got 310.3. I'll set preset K. Make sure the DLSS frame generation version is the latest one. So it shows you the original DLL, the current one, and also gives you the option of selecting one to swap out. So obviously I want the latest one right here. Click swap, 310.3, 310.3, preset K. Same thing over here for DLSS, 310.3, preset K, 310.3. And we also want to make sure that our FSX, our FSR 3.1 is the latest version. Because for those of you who are using FSR frame gen in Flight Sim 24, you want to make sure this is updated. This listing was a little confusing in previous versions of DLSS Swapper because of the naming convention that the AMD uses for this. DLSS Swapper has now simplified this so we can look and see quite easily that obviously the one at the top is the latest one. That's the one we want. So we'll update that as well. Close this. Now, if you're new to DLSS Swapper, 
you need those latest files to swap in. When you come to this list, you're gonna have a bunch of arrows on the right hand side, a bunch of these down arrows. Now I've downloaded a whole bunch of these, which is why I don't have the down arrows, but you're gonna see a bunch of these down arrows that say requires download. Where you find those files is you come over here to the left side to this library page, and you can see up here in the upper left hand corner, it's DLSS, then DLSS frame generation, DLSS ray reconstruction, FSR 3.1, etc. Any of the files that have this sideways arrow have already been downloaded. Any of the files with a down arrow, you click on the down arrow itself to download the file. So if you've never used DLSS before or DLSS swapper before, and you come in here under 310.3, you're going to see one of these down arrows. Click on it, it's going to download that version of the file. Now you can swap it into a game. Just a quick note on these debug versions. They are for developers. We don't need them as gamers. You want the non-debug version of any file that you download. But what's great now with the latest version of DLSS Swapper, if you look here in the library, you can click right here on download latest. It's going to download all of the latest files for you. Just click OK. So you don't have to go through and download them individually. Then you can come over here and swap them out like I showed you earlier. How do we make sure that the swap worked and we've got the version that we think we have? There are several ways to do this. Obviously, you can also do the swap in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Maybe you've done that before and now you're confused whether if you make the change here in DLSS Swapper, is it going to get overridden by what you have? in NVIDIA Profile Inspector or vice versa. So how do we check and make sure that we've got the DLSS version and the preset that we think we have? If you come down here to the lower left-hand corner to Settings, you'll see DLSS Developer Options, Show On-Screen Indicator. If we click here and come down to Enabled for All DLSS DLLs, click on that, and when you go into the sim, you're gonna see that display in the lower left-hand corner that shows the preset, DLSS version, and a bunch of other information as well. But this will show you, so you'll be able to look there and see, do I have DLSS version 310.3 and preset K, which are the two that you want. DLSS Swapper does not only work for Flight Sim 2020 and 24, obviously. You can swap the DLSS file in any game. What the game libraries are here are the different areas where on your PC you may have games stored, and it's going to search these game libraries to fill the games page right here. I don't have any Steam games, but for those of you who have Steam games, you can enable the Steam, enable GOG, I don't even know what that is. Epic Game Store, Ubisoft, Xbox app, etc. So it'll find the different games that you have and you can then swap the game, swap the DLSS files in the different games. It's rare, but some people have had issues with updating a DLSS file or changing the preset and having undesirable outcomes such as crashes or black screens, etc. This version of DLSS Swapper makes it very easy to deal with that. If you, uplate, if you update the DLSS file via DLSS Swapper, it's going to list here for you what the original DLL was and the current one. So if you want to go back to the original one, you just click on the refresh arrow right here, the restore, and it's going to restore the original version that you had when you loaded DLSS Swapper. So if you want to go back, you're always going to have the option to do that very easy to do, just one click here. If you don't have DLSS Swapper, you can get it here from GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. Just come over here to releases, click on 1.2.0.3. Come down here, click on the installer, save it, run it, and it will install it for you. If you already have DLSS Swapper, you can check and make sure you have the latest version by clicking down here on the settings. Coming down here and then you'll see here about which version you have. Let's click check for updates. And if there is an update, it will give the, oppor the opportunity to download and update the program. Hopefully this video was a clear explanation of what DLSS Swapper is and how to use it and what the benefits are of updating your DLSS file for Microsoft Flight Simulator.
if you have any questions or comments or experiences with updating DLSS files, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope everybody's doing well and we'll talk soon.